First of all, let me tell you the story of how armored mud balls form and how they happen to be preserved in this sedimentary rock that is only found in Massachusetts. This rock shows a good example of an armored mud ball. It's from the Mesozoic time, the age of dinosaurs here along the Connecticut River Valley in Massachusetts. And you can see that the center, which used to be mud, is now a hard rock we call shale. And then surrounding this old mud, there are pebbles that are stuck right into it. And that's what we call the armor. Armored mud balls form when hard chunks of mud fall into a stream. They get tumbled, these blocks of mud get tumbled downstream where they become round, soft, and sticky on the outside so that as they roll down the stream channel, they pick up pebbles from the stream bed. In Massachusetts, armored mud balls have been found on the beach in Martha's Vineyard at the base of the clay cliffs of Aquina. Here are some other examples. I even found this armored mud ball just six months after a stream flood in Texas. So we have seen armored mud balls forming along streams and beaches but how do you get them preserved in the geological record? First, they have to form, of course, and then they have to be quickly buried before they dry and disintegrate. And then they must become lithified, that is, turned to stone. There are only about 10 other places in the world where armored mud balls have been found preserved in rock, lithified, as we would say. All of those places that have been noted in the geological literature are very remote and are probably not even visible today. In the Connecticut River Valley, we have some exposures of armored mud balls that are truly the best ones ever photographed, and they're probably the only ones in the world that now exist. Some of these samples, by the way, were in quarried blocks, so you could get them out of the mountainside, you can get them cut, and that's the origin of the samples that I am showing you today. I discovered armored mud balls at Unity Park in Turners Falls. They were in an old historic bridge foundation that crossed the Connecticut River between Turners Falls and Gill. In that bridge abutment were these blocks of rock that had been quarried from a local quarry nearby. And in those rocks were these round ball shapes, very, very obvious. And so I parked my car, got out, took about five steps for a closer look and said, whoa, there is a ball of mud, now rock, and surrounding are the pebbles. It was an armored mud ball. These quarried stones that were part of the bridge abutment were dismantled and most of them showing these beautiful armored mud balls are in the geology path at Greenfield Community College. So in conclusion, these interesting, amusing, and rare geological oddities bring a smile to everyone who sees them. I like to joke that all armored mud balls smaller than two inches are known as the little armored mud balls. Perhaps armored mud balls will become a symbol of the state of Massachusetts, reflecting how interesting and unique the great state of Massachusetts is.